Hello, this is Douglas Rumbaugh. In a previous video, I showed how to install Arch Linux using LVM as the basis for the file system. What I didn't show is how you can very easily take advantage of LVM to resize the partitions on your computer very easily. Uh, that's what we're going to do in this video, is I'm going to show you how to both expand and shrink your existing partitions. I'm also going to show you how easy it is to add another hard drive to the system. So let's dive right in. Assuming I can type right, there we go. So just to show you, if we uh, list out the contents of dev, there's now SDC. This is the third hard drive that I just added. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to format it. And this is the same as what we did for SDB and the original LVM video. So we'll just format the entire thing to 8E00 for Linux LVM and write out our changes. Now you want to be very careful at this point because we are actively, when we were using GDisk there, we were actively changing a hard drive on the live system. If we had accidentally put in the wrong disk and reformatted SDA or SDB, then we would have lost the data that we had on that disk. So you want to be very careful to make sure that you're using the right, the right device when you're doing that. Okay. Now we should just be able to do a physical volume create on slash dev slash SDC. One. And we're going to create our physical volume. So now if we display out our physical volumes, you'll see we have our good old fashioned uh, SDA2 up there and SDB1 here, and this is SDC1. So now we can just add it to our vol group, volume group with VG extend vol group 00 slash dev slash SDC1. And we extended it. Now note, we are currently running the system. This vol group is online and you can extend it without dismounting it or doing anything special. And now if we do our VG display, you see we have just added, we've gone from the original three gigabytes to four gigabytes, and that extra gigabyte has appeared down here and unallocated. So we've just increased the size of our file system by one gigabyte by adding that additional hard drive. And now we can start expanding things. Now to change the size of stuff, you need to use the LV resize command. And LV resize takes the following arguments. You give it tack L and then you can do a plus or a minus to expand or shrink the file system. And then, you know, the size of it that you want to change. And then you need to do the volume group slash the logical volume. So if we wanted to just add a gigabyte to the home volume, we would do this. Add a gigabyte, not four gigabytes. There we go. So we can dynamically resize our volume on the fly without having to dismount it or anything. Unmount it, I suppose. You can shrink it too. However, and this is important, you don't want to shrink a mounted file system. Unmount it, then shrink it, because if you just shrink it without unmounting it, there's a pretty strong risk of data loss. Now the other thing that we have to do, keep in mind is right up there when we resized our volume group home vol without, uh, we didn't adjust the size of the underlying file system. There are a couple of different ways we can do that. But I'm going to show you the simplest way to do it. This only works for the extended file systems to ext2, 3, and 4, for XFS and for Riser. But the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to undo that change which we just did up there. So like I said earlier, we have to unmount it first because we don't want to lose data. And granted, it's empty right now, but you know, and we really don't want to lose data. So just pretend there's stuff in there we don't want to lose. And then we can use an LV resize dash L minus one G. And we will shrink it. Yes, I am sure that we want to do that. Okay, so we have 
resized and shrunk our home volume. Now to we can remount it now. Okay, so now to expand it again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use LV resize again. And we're going to add one gigabyte to it. However, we're going to use the TAC R, and this stands for resize file system. So what this is going to do is if the underlying file system is ext2, ext3, ext4, ricerfs, or xfs, it will automatically change the file system to match the logical volume. If it's not one of those, you shouldn't use this TACR option. Uh, look in the documentation for that file system for the specifics on how you resize it. Everyone's different. And then once again, we just want vol group 00 slash home vol. And that is going to both resize the file system and resize the volume. So just like that, we have just added a gigabyte to our home volume. If we want to shrink it while keeping the file si the file system, then what we want to do is we want to unmount it. Then we want to do the same thing except use a minus instead of a plus. And we will resize it by shrinking it back down to 500 megabytes again. And this was a fairly quick video. That's really all that there is to it. So just as a quick review, if you want to change the size of your logical volumes, you use LV, logical volume, resize. The minus style option allows you to specify the size that you're changing. Uh, you can either add with a plus to extend it, or you can shrink it by using minus. Then you need to use the TAC R option so we'll just say one gig. You need to use TAC R, and that's going to resize the underlying file system if it is ext2, 3, 4, rice, or fs, or xfs. And then you need to type in the name of your volume group slash the name of your logical volume. And that will take care of all of your resizing needs. In order to add additional physical volumes to your logical volume, all you have to do is create the physical volume, again by using PV create, and give saying the um, which partition it is that you're putting the physical volume on, and then you can use your VG extend with the volume group and the physical volume to add that physical volume to your volume group which is going to allow you all access to all of that space. And then you can just expand your other partitions into it. And keep in mind, I only did it with home, but you can extend any partition, any uh, logical volume, I should say, independent of where it happens to be in the ordering. These aren't uh, like a hard drive partition, where if you want to expand one partition, you have to make room for it by moving another partition. You can expand these into the space and the system will take care of repositioning things where it needs to reposition them and allocating the space where it needs to allocate it to make sure that you get your partition at the size you want it to be. Or, I'm sorry, to get your logical volume at the size you want it to be. All right, so that would be how you extend and shrink logical volumes in LVM. It's fairly simple-minded. Um, I guess one other thing I can mention is that if you want to expand to accommodate all the available space, you use a lowercase l instead of a capital L, and then you can say plus 100% free, and that will expand your logical volume to take up all the remaining space in your volume group. All right, so I hope that this video was useful to you, um, and hope that you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one.